Hey everybody! So today I wanted to show you how you can remove Microsoft Edge from your Windows 10 computer and keep it from coming back onto your computer if you don't want to use Microsoft Edge. Now, I do want to point out that they did make Microsoft Edge part of the operating system and removing it could cause some problems. But, I just wanted you to be aware of that. I just wanted to show you how you could remove it if you decided you didn't like it, you want to use Google Chrome, you want to use Chromium, Firefox, Opera, and you just don't want to even have Microsoft Edge on the computer. I wanted to show you how to remove it. So, let's go over to the Windows 10 computer and I'll show you exactly what steps you would take in order to remove it from your computer. Okay, so the first step you would take is to make sure that your computer is on and booted up to the Windows 10 desktop. Then once you're at the Windows 10 desktop, you're going to go ahead and you're going to click on your file explorer and it's right here on my dock, but if it's not showing up there, you can just click on start and then you can just click right here where it says documents. Now once that opens up, we're going to click on this PC and then we're going to go into the C drive. We're going to go into Windows and we're going to scroll down just a little bit to the System32 folder. Now in the System32 folder there's a file called Integrated Services Region Policy Set.json. So I'm going to scroll down to the eyes. You'll see that file in just a second. There it is. Integrated Services Region Policy Set.json. Now what I like to do is I like to right click and copy it and then right click over in the space right here and click on paste. And you have to click continue to allow it access to the System32 folder. And then it's just going to make a backup copy of it. I usually rename it. I don't leave it as copy. I change it to just backup right here. So I take copy off and I put backup. And then I just press enter. And then again you have to click continue to make changes because you have to be an administrator. And then if it asks you, just click yes to make the changes for the file operation. Okay, there you go. So there's a backup copy. In case something goes wrong, you can revert back to that backup. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on this file and we're going to go into properties. Now you may be wondering why we have to make a change to this one file. Well, if you'll go over here to start and then you go to the settings right here and you go over to apps and then give it just a second for it to load all the apps that are on the computer. When I scroll down on this list, there's Microsoft Edge. But if you'll notice, in certain regions, you can't uninstall it. You can modify it and tell it to repair it, but you can't uninstall it. Now, I think that you, you're able to uninstall it, but in other countries like the United States, you're not able to uninstall that. So, this is why we're going into this Integrated Services Region Policy Set.json and we're making one change to that file. So, I'm just going to minimize the settings for right now and I'm going to go back over here to the Integrated Services Region Policy Set.json Properties. So, I'm going to click on Security and then I'm going to click on Advanced. Now the reason I'm clicking on advanced is if I click on edit, it won't let me make any changes. So I'm going to hit cancel here and I'm going to click on advanced. And then if you'll notice the reason I can't make changes is because the owner is the trusted installer. So what I have to do is I have to change the owner over to myself. So I'm going to put in IT101. Now, of course, you would want to put in whatever your username is on your computer. Now, if you don't know it, just click on Advanced, 
click on find now, and then just start scrolling through the list of all the users. And eventually you'll find yours. See if you'll notice there's my user account right there. So I'm just going to click OK. And then I'm going to click OK again. And there you go. Now I'm the owner. And so now I can click apply. And then it says if you have just taken ownership, you'll need to close it and reopen it before you can make changes to the permissions. So I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to click OK again. And now I'm going to go back into advanced. And now I can click on change permissions. And now it'll let me make any changes I want to. So I'm going to click on add one more time. And I'm going to select a principle. And again, I'm going to type in my username. Or you can do the search again by going to advanced and find now. But I'm going to type in my username. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to give myself full control. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to click Apply. Click Yes because it's changing permissions, but that's OK. We're going to click Yes and then click OK. And then for the last window, we're going to go ahead and click OK too. Now what I can do is right click on it, open it with, and then we're going to click on More Apps. And we're going to select Notepad. And I don't want it to always open with Notepad. So I'm going to uncheck this and just click OK. Now, I know this looks like a lot, but it's actually very easy. If you'll notice, the very first thing says Edge is uninstallable. So all we have to do is change this disabled right here, just delete it, and just type in enabled. And that's it. That's all we have to do. And now we can uninstall Microsoft Edge. So I'm just going to go up here, tell it to File, Save, and then I'm just going to close it. Now, I'm going to close this window also. Now, your settings, when you come back over here, it may still not let you uninstall it. That's okay. All you have to do at this point, go ahead and close the Settings window. And then we're just going to click on Start. We're going to click on the power icon, and we're going to tell it to restart. Now, when this comes back up, we're going to log back into the computer, and I'm going to show you that we can uninstall Microsoft Edge. So give me just a moment for that to restart, and I'll be right back. Okay, so the computer just finished restarting, and it booted back up to the Windows 10 desktop. So the next step you want to take is you want to click on Start, and you want to go to your Settings. And then you want to click on Apps. And then once Apps pulls up, you want to scroll down to Microsoft Edge, and you want to click on Uninstall. Now, if your button still does not allow you to uninstall Microsoft Edge, that's okay. But for some of you, it is going to allow you to uninstall it. So go ahead and click that button, and you'll have Microsoft Edge off of your computer. Now, if for some reason yours is like mine, and you can't click on uninstall, that's not a problem. What we're going to do is I created a document called Remove Microsoft Edge, and this has the exact steps that we need to plug in to remove Microsoft Edge from the computer. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on Start, and then we're going to type in Command, and then we're going to open up Command Prompt as an administrator. So click on Run as Administrator. And then if it asks do you want to allow it to make changes to your device, go ahead and click on Yes. And then I'm just going to move this down right here and what we're going to do is we're going to go onto the computer over here. It'll make it a whole lot easier. We're going to click on this PC, and we're going to go to the C drive. And then we're going to go to Program Files x86. And then we're going to go to Microsoft. And then if you'll notice, there's some folders. All of them say like Edge, Edge Core, Edge Update, Edge Web View. Well, the one we want to go into is Edge. 
And then there's one called application. So we're going to go into that one. And then we're going to go into this one that says 92 or whatever number yours says. You want to go into that one. And then you want to go into installer. Now here, if you'll notice, there's a setup file. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to click right up here. And we're going to right click on this address. And we're going to copy it. And then we're going to come back to the command prompt and we're going to type in CD space and we're going to press control V on the keyboard and then we're going to press enter. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of this right here where it says setup.exe space dash dash uninstall space dash dash system dash level space dash dash verbose dash logging space dash dash force dash uninstall. I know that's kind of long, but we're just going to take that and I'm going to copy it. You can copy it from yours if you want to. It'll be in the video description for you. And you can just go over here and do a control V and paste it in there. And then just press enter. And it's going to run through and it's going to uninstall the Microsoft Edge from your computer. Now look, if I go back over to settings, look, Microsoft Edge, it's completely gone. Yes, this Microsoft Edge update is still there, but that's no big deal. You can leave that there. It's not using up hardly any space at all. And you can always delete that folder if you want to. You can just come over here and click on Microsoft, and you can just delete that Edge update folder if you really want to. Now the next step I really wanted to show you is how you can make sure that the Microsoft Edge won't come back on your computer if you don't want it. So what you can do is you can click on start, type in reg edit, and then here's registry editor, and we're going to click on run as administrator. And then if it asks, can this make changes to your computer, that's fine. Just click on yes. And then what we're going to do is we are going to go down and I'm already in part of that already but we're going to go to H key local machine software and then Microsoft now once you're in H key local machine software Microsoft you're going to right click click on new and create a new key and you're going to call this new key edge update and then you're just going to press in now what you're going to do is over here on the right side you're going to right click and create a new d word and you're going to name this do not update to edge with chromium and then you're going to press enter and then you're going to double click on this and right here, you're going to change it from a 0 to a 1, and you're going to click OK. Now, all you have to do at this point is just close out of Registry Editor, and of course, close out of this window if you have it open, close out of your settings, close out of the command prompt, and then once you have everything closed, just restart your computer. And then I'll go ahead and do it right now. Now, once your computer comes back up, you'll continue to get updates for other programs that are on your computer, even for Windows itself, but you will not get any of the Microsoft Edge updates. So now you don't have to worry about Microsoft Edge. If you're never going to use it, you won't get it. And so that would be great for some of you who just don't want it on your machine. So I really hope that was helpful on how you can remove your Microsoft Edge from your Windows 10 computer and keep it from coming back if you don't want it on the machine at all and you're never going to use it. So if you do have any questions about this, please let me know down below in the comments and I'll be more than happy to get back to you about that. And if there's a video that you'd like for me to create for you, please let me know that down below in the comments as well and I'll do my best to create that for you. And as always, because you all do such a great job, 
if you can, hit that like and subscribe button so I can keep putting up more great content like how do I remove Microsoft Edge from my Windows 10 computer and keep it from coming back. And I'll be glad to keep putting up all this great content for you all. Thanks so much, everybody. I really appreciate you all. I hope you have a great day. God bless. Take care, and I'll see you all next time. Bye.